and I prayed and fasted. I said, heal me. And God said, he will not. That it is going to be like that for all life. But you know, <laughs> don't lay hands on me for Paul's seven to go. No. I believe it's a turn that God has allowed in my flesh. Every form of inferiority complex, every definition about yourself that you got from your family, your household, that makes you feel unfit, is swallowed up by the illumination that derives from the spirit of adoption. If indeed the spirit of adoption is functional on your life and in your spirit, man, you will never be able to come to the conclusion that you are a failure. If you see yourself as insufficient, you see yourself as a failure, it means that that, that lamp is not bringing illumination inside of your spirit, man. And that may be one of the reasons for the numerous defeats that you experience in your walk on the face of the earth. Now, this is what I want to say to you. It is not possible for grace to be lacking. Jesus is the personality of grace himself, and his office is at work in your spirit. So grace is available, but fire may not be available. And the moment there is no fire, you don't have illumination to see the things of God. And when you don't see the things of God, you cannot understand by God's witness. You cannot understand by God's testimony. So you will be more involved. Your understanding will be about the natural. And uh, you, the description of your life will be consistent with natural circumstances and natural situations. But if that lamp is burning on your inside, you will begin to see through the light of that lamp. And a different context of logic, a different context of understanding will be the reason for your confidence. When we see that kind of confidence in your life, then we will know that the lamp of the spirit of adoption has been switched on on your inside. And that's why you cannot see yourself as a failure, despite the circumstance. And I want you to understand Satan's activity of mind bending. If you ever experience a miscarriage, while you are trying to process what took place, Satan will show up and start taking you through classes in mind bending. The objective of the mind bending that Satan is engaged in is to make you accept a reality that is a departure from your true reality in Christ Jesus. So he begins to convince you through exaggeration and lies. And many of us fall sway under the influence of this spirit of, 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 of deception. If you fall to deception, it means that the lamp inside is not bright enough to make you see through it. Something is missing in your mix. Imagine me. Do you know how long I prayed that God should heal me of facial palsy? It was when I went to London um, for the last mission. Pastor Henry insisted that I need to see an eye doctor. And if I'm, if I'm, if I go to a mission field, even though I'm their father in the Lord, I operate under their authority because he's the man on ground. He's the man that has been contending with the demons in, in the place. So he's likely to help me with counsel that will make me navigate. All right, so he insisted that oh, you are not preaching today. You are going to, I, because I did one prayer in the night and we encountered some, some things in the spirit. My conclusions about the location where we stay, I've not concluded, but the, I'm still processing the understanding of the location. The location. Um, when I'm done with my processing in London, I will tell you, the, the place we stay, this is what I discovered. But, but I, I'm, not, I'm not true yet. So we, we, we did some warfare in the night, and I woke up in the morning, my, air, my eyes were red as blood. And that's why I wear those... Because the prescription was that I should put it on until the eye heals. So some people thought that I've become blind. So. And they've been sending me messages. Now, so Henry and his team insisted I visit the doctor. So I went and saw the doctor. All kinds of light they put in my eyes, blue light. 
Meanwhile, the moment I saw the doctor, he said, this is palsy seven, that facial palsy. I, I didn't know he had a name. Palsy what? I said, what's that? He said, that's, that's what's with your face. I said, oh, amen, hallelujah. Now, so I've lived like this with this palsy. I can't change it. And I prayed and fasted. I said, heal me. And God said, he will not. That it is going to be like that for all life. But you know, the way my, I don't even remember how my face looks, really. Because there is a lamp I have inside that gives me insight into who I am beyond my face. So if I'm depressed because of the way my face looks, it means that lamp is not functional. That's what I'm saying. That's where defeat will come. Your defeat is traceable to the absence of the judging lamps in your spirit. There is a light that the lamp has given me in terms of the spirit of adoption that has swallowed any possibility of mind bending that Satan can bring to me on the account of Paul C7. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Oh my God. And you see, so I. My mom said, go with surgery. You need to do. Oh my God. I say. Is it not someone that believes that he has, is, is sick that goes for surgery? I don't. May your lamp not go out in the name of Jesus. Lord. And it will, I have the resources. If they have a medical procedure in surgery to correct it, I have the resources for that. But God said he will not heal it. I will leave it like that. That's, this is how he wants me to be. Do you understand what I'm talking about? So when you are doing healing meeting, don't lay hands on me for, for I, the lamp. <laughs> don't lay hands on me for palsy seven to go. No. I believe it's a turn that God has allowed in my flesh so that I will be reminded every day that I am a human being. There are some dimensions of encounters you have you will need something to remind you. Uh, okay, don't worry. It's okay. Don't worry. Let me not take you deeper than that. You will need something to remind you that you are a human being that needs grace even more than the normal people. If the lamp is at work, God can make you overcome anything. So my, my security is in Christ that walks within me. And there is no situation in which I can be disadvantaged. If I am meant to operate in that situation, I cannot be disadvantaged because I can do all things through Christ. You will not come to that conclusion if the lamp is not at work, it's not effective on your inside. You will take an outlook, a description, an explanation of things that is consistent with situation and circumstances if the lamp is not at work. 